subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm here to give you an update coming from Ondo State. Trouble looms as PDP candidate Eitai Ojegede drags Akele Dolu to tribunal over victory in Ondo election. Eitai Ojegede, candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the October 10, 2020 governorship election of Ondo State, has dragged Governor Rutumi Akele Dolu to court over his victory in the SSIs. Jegede, a senior advocate of Nigeria, is challenging the victory of Mr. Akele Dolu, who is the candidate of the All Progressive Congress at the election petition tribunal sitting in Akrui. The PDP candidate has also joined the Independent National Electoral Commission, the All Progressive Congress, and the deputy governor elect, Loki. Aida Tiwa in the petition. It was gathered that Barrister Ife Dayo Adedipe, who is also a senior advocate of Nigeria, would be leading the legal team of the PDP at the tribunal. Jegede is challenging the election on four grounds, including that the election was marred by irregularities and pockets of violence and intimidation. He also faulted the emergence of Governor Akele Dolu as the candidate of the APC during his governorship primary election held on the 20th of July 2020. Recall that Governor Akele Dolu was declared winner by INEC in the October 10th governorship election after pulling a total of 292,830 votes across the 18 local government areas in the state. In a statement by Secretary of the Election Petition Tribunal on the state, Mr. Musa Baku, the tribunal will sit at the High Court complex along Hospital Road in Akure. All right, my wonderful people, at the end of the Ondo governorship election, we all know that Akelo Duru emerged the winner and the governor. Let's now talk about the major losses in Ondo governorship election. The October 10th governorship election in Ondo state may have come and gone, but its outcome is likely to continue to haunt some key gladiators in the state's polities for a long time. Apart from some Ondo residents whose pre-election loud voices may have been hushed by the deep pockets, incumbency, and in some cases, violence, there are politicians whose political fortune and reverence may have also been badly affected as a result of the pool which was won convincingly by Governor Rotimi Akele Duru, who won in 15 of the state's 18 local governments. The result, as announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has reflected a clear diversion from the expectation of many who had predicted a keenly contested three-horse race among the incumbent governor, the candidates of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Akele Duru, his estranged deputy, the candidate of the Zenith Labour Party, ZLP, Abola Ajayi, and the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Eitai Ojegede. The wide gap in the vote recorded by each of the three candidates is still a shocker to many analysts who had predicted a narrow margin between the possible winner and the runner-up. The results may have therefore deflected the ego of some of the politicians who analysts had earlier predicted had the capacity to alter the scale of the pool's outcome. Thus, with the outcome exposing their fatal weight, the consequences may be grave for these politicians. Leading the pack of this category of politicians is the quartet of the Messiah Ajayi Jegede and the former governor Olushego Mimiku and the immediate past secretary to the state government Ife Dayo Abegunde, let's talk about Abula Ajayi. The fact of Mr. Ajayi's grassroots prominency, especially within the Ondo South Senatorial District, had been seen as an asset. This view is attested to by the story of his rise from a lower rung of political ladder as his supervisor for agriculture in 1999 
Tuesday met Giants as a running mate to Akilo Doru in 2016. His political journey is also lit with records of political affiliations and connections across the state. In 2016, when he first ran against all odds, pertinent excuses were advanced for his poor run. Then, the crisis that rocked the PDP, which had resulted in the legal firework between Mr. Jegede's faction and that of his main challenger and controversial businessman, Jimor Ibrahim, was seen by many as a valid point. In fact, it was not until some 48 hours to the 2016 poll that Mr. Jegede was only sure of his participation as a candidate. He had waited for the judgment of the Supreme Court, which though eventually validated his candidature, came very late. By the time the judgment was delivered, the electorate seemed to have concluded on who to vote for. He only won two of the 18 local governments, despite the incumbency enjoyed by his party in the state. It is, however, surprising that Mr. Jegede's performance in this year's election could only be slightly different from his 2016 outing. Winning three local government areas out of 18 seemed not good enough to end the party's choice in 2024. Let's go over to Olushegu Mimiko. It is true that the former governor was not on the ballot on Saturday, but the pool was clearly a referendum on his warning popularity. But the result of the election may have just finally reburied Mr. Mimiko's political reverence that was, uh, that was rekindled a few months to the pool. The former governor, who has changed parties like Diapers, assumed the national leadership of ZLP ahead of the 2019 general election, where he initially aspired to be Nigeria's president. When he realized the ambition was a tall order, he simply opted to represent Ondo Central in the Senate, an election he lost in the PDP. The ZLP candidates lost in Ondo governorship election made it three losses in a row for Mr. Mimiko, a man whose larger-than-life image had been painted ahead of the election. But one of his associates and his former assistants on inter-party affairs, Davis Akimboti, said rather than singling out his boss as a loser, the people of the state should be so regarded. Mimiko cannot become a governor in this state again. He does not need the affordable health care, the shuttle buses, and affordable school fees, which the people are not going to have under his administration for the next four years. So how is Mimiko the big loser? The people have just lost another golden opportunity to reclaim the glory brought to this state during the 80th tenor of Mimiko. Let's talk about Ifedayo Abegunde ahead of the Saturday election, shortly before the APC primaries. The Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Abegunde resigned his appointment and reportedly preached his thanks with one of the aspirants in the party, Shegun Abraham. All right, my wonderful people, this is the news we have for you. Saying that PDP candidate Eitai of Jegede drags Akilo Doru to the tribunal over the victory in Ondo election. If I'm to make my own point, I will say that I'm very much disappointed that Jegede because I could remember a few days before the election, the whole contestant signed a peace pact. They signed that if any of them should lose the election, that they will willingly accept it. So only for us to hear today that Jigede has finally taken Akilo Doru to the tribunal. I was thinking that if I was in Jigede's situation, what I would have done was to be happy for my opponent. I would have happy for him, rejoiced for him for the fact that he has won the election. Because going to the tribunal doesn't guarantee that he will win against Akilo Doru. So I would have supported Akilo Doru in such a way that when in, in the next coming years, let's say 2024, the, the pool might favor him. You too can as well become part of this discussion by dropping your opinion and what you think or saying this at the comment section. See you in my next video. Thank you.